Okay, hey boys, we're going to a really disgustingly dark day in the UK. Um, it is gross at the moment, it really is pretty nasty. But welcome to the Cooper, yay! Today we've got the Cooper's first car show, and it is disgusting. Uh, I did give it a clean, uh, and I wanted to give it an even bigger clean now because the rear wheels are horrendous. I figured out because they stick out a bit, they get super dirty because the front wheels kick up a load of shit, uh, and it's nasty, basically. Slippery. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a list on what needs to be done to the Cooper. Uh, not necessarily my mod plans, but what needs to be done. I will do a whole video soon. But people were asking me, and they saw it, uh, or what they thought was it in the uh, car reveal video. They thought they saw a check engine light, and at the time that wasn't actually on. That was just like you know when you turn the key to ignition and all the uh, warning lights come on to show you that they're working and all that and they haven't been unplugged so you get scanned basically. So uh, at that time it didn't have a check engine light. A week later I do now so it does have a check engine light up now. However the battery is on its way out um, and I'm getting a new battery on Wednesday um, because my Ibiza is finally going, my old one. It's still been sitting on my driveway for the past couple of weeks so it's finally been sold. Um, and then I can go get myself a new battery for this beastie. Um, I figured out it's a low voltage, it was just like a low battery voltage warning sign. And because it's a VAG car, the check engine light comes on for everything. And when I say everything, it can mean like the pollen filter's clogged, it can mean um, the coil packs are going, it can mean your engine has fully disappeared from the engine compartment. It goes from like zero to 100 real quick. I'm on my way to go get petrol now. And the closest is Morrison's. I'm not actually sure how good Morrison's petrol is. Uh, let me know in the comments actually, because I, I use Supreme for this car because, or you know, premium or whatever, Supreme. But um, because it's obviously like 98 octane or whatever this runs on, the higher stuff anyway. Because petrol turbo life, you know the way. Uh, and because it's running allegedly more power, um, we'll go into that more in the proper review video, uh, then you want to run it on proper petrol anyway. In this weather at the moment in the UK, because it's like this disgusting, gritty, slimy, oily stuff, this thing with the traction control off, because yes, I have a traction control button, which I'm super happy about, um, it wheel spins through third gear. Like, first is useless, second is pretty useless, third is meh, usable sometimes. Yeah, the battery is a little bit dead, like, um, it's all right in long journeys if you recharge it properly, but if you stop for long enough um, or you just do a really short journey, then it struggles a bit on restart. Oh, it's gonna be some good content, boys. It will go through front tires fairly quickly. Uh, luckily, uh, I'm probably gonna get some, I'm just using these rims, or the way these rims are at the moment, where they're a little bit flaky and shit, uh, and these tires as like winter tires, um, do you know what I mean, like off-season tires um, with lower quality, you know, just throw around all seasons and then in the summer I will get some Yokohama 808 R's on this car and hopefully, I mean the plan would be to team them up with some cool rims like some Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.2's um, or some Bola B1's, semi bowlers, so or, or rotors. If I get a ticket for nosing my car into a bus lane there, I will be an unhappy boy. A marked police car. Big Volvo. Ooh. One per eighteen a litre. It's not too bad, to be fair. It's not, and that's not Shell V power or anything. But, hi right, boys. Uh, we're going to go to the lowdown meet. I will see you there. Hope you enjoyed our little chat today. And enjoy. Alright boys, got a uh, interesting little day in Milton Keynes today. As you can see behind me, we've got a few cars out, there's an RS over there. And we had a few more things like a Mustang and all that. Uh, and we're down with Devoted Media for a little photo shoot thing going on. Uh, and in Milton Keynes there's more like supercar meets going on, there's lowdown later today. So, uh, fun little day, and uh, we're going to take you with me. So, let's have some fun. 
So as you can see, I brought the uh, Cooper down for the moment with the janky boost gauge. Yes. Fits in quite well with the chute to be fair. I mean, it does need things to do to it. Like I will get a new set of wheels, needs to be lowered uh, and it needs bits like paint repair done and a few things like that. And the brake calipers need refurbing, that sort of thing. Um, but those will get done in due time. This will happen. <laughs> yes, look who we have. Yeah. It's a devoted media. We. So, boys and girls, you can see me over there. Welcome to a very cold, disgusting somewhere in Milton Keynes. If you've been here before, you probably recognise it. We've got Justin, the Vitamin Media. Hello. Uh, and various car nuts getting photos done, which is a, a rare opportunity. You should be charging thousands, mate. I should. <laughs> Welcome to a dark car park in the Cooper. Um, this is a low down UK meet. So there's a bunch of people from Bedfordshire, Northamptonshire, all that sort of place. And let's go have a peeky. Interesting to take to a show now. Alright, that focus is clean. Very nice. That mini is loud as all living shit. I mean, it gave me the first eardrums. See it, gang. There's a problem with the UK, right? I'm trying to look at nice cars and my fingers are coming off. It's cold. found a Cooper in exactly the same spec as mine, but I think it's a diesel. <laughs> Good choice of it. Oh, boys, we're hiding from the cold in the Cooper currently, and uh, this little meat is mad. There's been burnouts, allegedly. There's been uh, people having fun. Allegedly, we can't have any real fun here. It all has to be alleged fun, of course. I actually feel like with the Cupra, it's something semi-interesting. It's not obviously that cool, but um, semi-interesting. It's not a 1.4, it's a 1.8 turbo. It has a cat back. It sounds okay. <laughs> Boys, the phone's officially dead. 
phone's officially dead and I've got to work out how to get back on my own. So that could be interesting. I mean, it's only Milton Keynes, so if I can get on the M1, then we'll be all right. <laughs> okay. 